Hello Lightroom users, Mike Wardinsky here and today I've got a quick tip video to show you how to find duplicates within Lightroom Classic without the use of an external plugin or anything like that. Now this technique is most useful if you just recently realized that you imported duplicate photos into your catalog. If you've been importing duplicates for years, this might not help you so much. So let me show you how this is done. I've got a folder here that has many duplicate photos in it. They were accidentally imported and now I need to delete the duplicates. And I know that these are in here, so we're gonna go over to the toolbar. If you don't see this, hit the backslash key and it will show and hide itself. And then we're gonna go to text and go to the search bar and hit dash two. Because whenever Lightroom imports a duplicate photo, it attaches a dash two to it. And so if I go to my film strip here, you can see as I scroll through here, that dash two is appended to every single image. Now, if I imported three times, I could search for dash three, and that would show me any photos that have been imported three times. Now, luckily I haven't done that, so I'm just gonna go back to dash two, and I'm gonna click any thumbnail here, and I'm gonna hit Command A on a Mac, or Control A on a PC, and that's going to select all the images with a dash two appended to them. Next, I'll hit the X key to add a reject flag to all the duplicate images. I'll hit the delete key and that'll delete all of the rejected photos. And you can see I have 2,426 duplicates here. I can either remove them from Lightroom or delete them from disk. There's no reason for me to have two copies on the disk. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose delete from disk. And it's as simple as that. Now this technique is best utilized for people who realize that they've imported a duplicate and wanna delete them right away. If you've already imported duplicates, but you weren't aware and then edited some of the photos, you may have edited some of the duplicates instead of the original import photos, and in which case you're gonna to have to go photo by photo and see which one has been edited and which one hasn't. And one more thing, make sure you do the like and subscribe thing and check out naturemike.com. I'll see you in the next video.